know what I mean? Like, remember I asked you last time when you was in Texas, I was like, what do you and Kanye talk about? I, we were sitting to the side. I don't know if you remember. Like, what do you talk to Kanye West about? You know, because we fans, you know what I'm right. saying? It's kind of like, how does that conversation go? But really, just to be real with you, how did you feel about him and as far as his campaign and the way he was doing toward trying to help get your father released? Oh, man, I was on. Um, so that's big. Yeah, I was on. Um, I was excited that he went. I knew that he was going. I didn't know what the hell he was doing. I just. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just being real. I didn't know because we was on the outside. I'm like, that nigga crazy. Yeah. He going for Trump. I, mm -hmm. So it really was a thing where he went to Trump to try to get your father released from prison. Yeah, he went to Trump and I knew he was going. He just didn't go as planned, but he did go, and I appreciate that he did. <laughs> you know what I mean? Needs. Yeah, we on Boss Talk one on one. You know? Wow. So when let's talk about Kanye for a second. When Kanye uh, was campaigning for your father, which he still is, to be released, trying to whether it be through Trump or whatever he was doing. Right. What was your mindset during that time? Because these are things that I, I wonder. You know what I mean? Like, remember I asked you last time when you was in Texas, I was like, what do you and Kanye talk about? I, we were sitting to the side. I don't know if you remember. Like, what do you talk to Kanye West about? You know, because we fans, you know what I'm right. saying? It's kind of like, how does that conversation go? But really, just to be real with you, how did you feel about him and as far as his campaign and the way he was doing toward trying to help get your father released? Oh man, I was on. Um, so that's big. Yeah, I was on. Um, I was excited that he went. I knew that he was going. I didn't know what the hell he was doing. I just, you know, what I'm <laughs> just being yeah. real. I didn't know because we was on the outside. I'm right. like, that nigga crazy. Yeah. He going for Trump. I, mm -hmm. So it really was a thing where he went to Trump to try to get your father released from prison. Yeah, he went to Trump, and I knew he was going. He just didn't go as planned, but he did go, and I appreciate that he did. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, he, man, I love him for that. That's, you know? and that's, and that's what it is. There's nothing else I can say about it, no matter how it seemed. If, if people listen to the interview, the whole thing, instead of just the snippets, like they do with the um, clickbait, yeah. mm -hmm. you can hear what he really said. Yeah. But if you just heard the snippets, then it's like, Flying on the moon, and I'm gonna run across the sky in Adidas. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I, I appreciate him for that. But people don't understand how people's attention span nowadays are so short that people don't like to sit down and watch full interviews to yeah. get to those parts. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, you miss a whole lot. Cause he, you had to come out to work. You being the way you done with this last album, you had to, you had to come, you had to come out anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Cause your name, I mean, you you already you, your presence is felt. You know what I mean. But then to to be dealing with Kanye and be in the same, you know, camp, you know, his album mm -hmm. coming out, whatever, it's gonna put the light on you. Now, yeah. what you do with that light is up to you at that point, right? Right. If you know, because of my name, because of my father, you know, what I mean, I get a little bit of attention, and um, if I can do something positive with the attention that I get, I feel like I'm doing what my father would do when I'm walking in his footsteps, footsteps. you know? I, so I got a question. Um, so I love to speak things into existence, so I'm gonna say it like this. So when your father is released, what happens next? Because I know with all this campaign, you're campaigning for him to come out. So what will your focus be on next? When my father is released. First and foremost, honestly, it's gonna be, what does he want to do? You know what I mean? He's been gone for so long, like, how does he adjust to the world? What does he really want to do? Does he really want to be, you know, out in the world or whatever is, you know, is helping him adjust to the world first. And then from that point, you know, we have to see if he could, um, if the powers that be, don't have too much of a problem with him trying to make a change because nobody likes how we living out here. Like, mm -hmm. he would love to use his voice to try to make a change to help people come together and take part in looking at the world differently, operating in the world differently. But if that's so much of a problem, if that has something to do with the reason why he's not free and he's not out here, he happily go. <laughs> You know, on the farm, on the beach somewhere and stay mm -hmm. out the way. But mm -hmm. he would love to try to, 
you know, make a difference. Yeah, make a difference and keep righting the wrongs that he had did. He, mm-hmm. you know, he did it before. He would love to influence people to, hey man, this is not right. We don't want to live like this. Your kids shouldn't live like this. Your parents, your grandparents. You know, this is this is a horrible way to be living. To have to look over your shoulder like you do, if you. If you do all right in life, or well, even if you look like you do all right, you don't even have nothing. What up, Ye? And kill This is Larry Hoof Jr. First and foremost, I want to thank you for taking the fight for my father to the old